is a nice clean dot stick to warm up the dot stick so that the wax will stick to it. Heat it using the tip of the flame, not in the bottom, not too far away, right on the very hottest part, the tip of the flame. Continue wiping the dot wax, facet wax, across the dot stick till it starts to take to it. Take it away from the flame and just keep winding it around your dot stick. Dot stick in the flame, just build up the wax on the stick. Not too hot, a little boil. Just continue winding it around until you get enough wax that will take the stone. Back in the flame to get it all settled out. That's ready to dop a, a stone on. Allow the dop stick to cool off. Don't dop with a hot dop stick. After the dop stick is cooled off, you bring the wax and the dop stick into the flame together and you warm them both up till they just start to melt and spin the dop stick so as it continues to take the hot wax and build it up so that there's enough wax so when the dopping procedure takes place the wax will run down over the stone so you've got a nice amount of wax on the dop stick back in the flame so you wave the stone across the flame bringing the temperature up slowly when you feel that it's warm enough just slow it down and concentrate the temperature on the stone at about there. Continue wiping the dop stick and dop wax on the stone till it just starts to stick to the stone. And then you know the stone is hot enough. Here it's just starting to go now. On a piece of timber, push the dop stick so as it goes down flat onto the stone. Take the tweezers away and allow the temperature to be drawn out of the stone by the cold dop stick. While the stone's still hot, you can move the stone around the dot and centralise it so that you know that the stone is as best you can in the centre of the dot stick. If you're not happy with where it is, just take it back into the flame, warm it up and continue moving it around until you're happy with the position on the dot stick. With facet wax you can do this, but with the two part bonding it's not possible. You're committed to wherever it dries off. After you've completed the pavilion, wash it with methylated spirits while squirting onto the stone. Make sure that the back of the stone or the transfer area is completely clean with methylated spirits. Alright, so you run the, the stone through there and watch for moisture appearing on the top of the stone, on the outside of the stone. Continue wiping it until no more moisture appears and then the stone's warm enough. Once the stone's warm enough, you put the dot wax into the flame till it bursts into flames and hit it once. Hit the stone only once and build up an amount of dot, well, dot wax, facet wax, on the back of the stone until it's completely covered. So we take a groove dop stick and warm it up, holding it at this angle. Very important, otherwise it gets too hot too quickly. Once you feel it's starting to get hot, apply the wax, but don't hold the wax in the flame. Just wipe it across the dop stick until it starts to take the wax. Once the wax has started to take on the dop stick, that's hot enough. Into the, dop, into the transfer jig and concentrate the flame on the dop stick making sure that the, the transfer jig is at this angle. Don't concentrate the flame on the stone because you'll move the stone. Concentrate the flame here until you just start to see the, the dop wax starting to bubble and it's hot enough to push, push the dop stick onto the job. Continue keeping the heat at the back of the 
top stick nowhere near the, the stone and build up the back with the wax. Undo the, undo the jig, turn the whole lot around so as it exposes the area that you haven't put any dot wax on, back into the flame and then build up the back again. Till you end up. Each time you finish with the dot wax, if you taper it to a point, it's perfect to be able to control the temperature because it's only very thin there. Just as it bursts in the flames, you put it onto the back of the stone. After the wax is a bit of a mess at the back, you heat up a knife. After allowing it to cool, a, allowing the job to cool a bit, you warm up the knife, get it nice and hot, and you can splay the wax back with the knife away from the girdle being careful just to allow enough pressure that the wax will melt away from the knife. Don't exert too much pressure on it. When you get a nice taper, the job's done. Continue doing that all around the job until you've got a nice tidy taper. Right, remove the job from the transfer jig and with two fingers, not three because you'll snap it, but two fingers, test the strength of the job. See what sort of a, a bond you've got. If it doesn't let go, then you've had a successful transfer. To remove the top stick that you don't want on there, just heat the knife up, get it nice and hot. You'll know when the temperature is right because the old wax you've left on there will start to smoke. Bring it in hard against the stone. One little cut there, one little mark like that. Take a pair of side cutters, come into where you've made those melted wax marks, and just nip the top stick off like that. Clean. Then you can take a knife, warm it up again. The excess wax that you've left behind on the top of the stone, just simply clean it off with a hot knife. But don't get the stone hot, just take off the wax with the knife. Done. Successful transfer. One of the most important tests you can do with this facet wax, and it's very important, that you don't hit the job twice when you're doing your transfer and I'll show you how it works on a piece of glass if I hit it there once it will stick and I touch it twice it won't stick and the third time you'll see that it'll just make a dent on the wax demonstration burst into flames, hit it once twice, three times the first stick will be permanent the second one will come away quite easily the first one will stay there. So it's so important to heat up the dop wax, hit it once only. Once only. So important. Two hits, it won't stick. See? Doesn't stick. 